Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Alara Canfield, and this is the weekly video. I missed it by two days, so it's a little bit late. So this week we might have two. That's okay, right? So today I wanted to quickly talk to you about um, something that came up for me earlier today around um, needing, you know, you know, um, it's about need and lack and scarcity and, and contribution you know, versus contribution. So, for example, you know, when you are wanting to talk to somebody, you know, about uh, something, it could be business, a project, it could be just friendship, relationship. So when you're talking to them, when you're going to, you know, have that conversation with them, are you coming to them from a place of lack? a place of scarcity, a place of I need you because I can't do it myself kind of thing? Or are you going to them from a place of, hey, this might be fun. This could be a contribution. Um, can this person be a contribution to my life and my living, to my business, to my project, to my to relationships, to my space? Uh, and, not, and not just people, but also uh, your space, your environment, um, classes and courses that you're taking you know do you ask the question uh, around is are they going to be a contribution to you or do you need to take it do you need to have it because then you'll be better right something like that so when that when that happens you know when you're when you're having this conversation sometimes in your own head um, and it feels heavy and it feels constrictive and it feels like not good ask yourself, okay, where am I coming from? Am I coming from lack and scarcity and need? Or am I coming from a space of allowance and contribution and acceptance, right? And flow, right? So um, one of the things that you can do when, you know, this is showing up in your life is get out of your head, <laughs> come back to your heart space or the bottom of your feet and you know, if you come to your heart space and expand out and expand out and expand out to be as big as the room that you're in or beyond, that heaviness, that constriction will fall away, right? And then when you ask that question of, hey, is this person a contribution to me? Or, you know, if I ask this person to work with me on this project, are they going to be a contribution? See how that feels, you know? Is it, it, does it feel joyful? Does it feel light? Does it feel expansive, right? And if it doesn't, then still ask yourself, okay, am I coming from lack here? Or is there still something stuck here? Or are they really not going to be a good fit, right? So in the end, it's about, is this a good fit for me, my life, the planet, the project, whatever it is, right? Are they a contribution? Am I a contribution to my life? So really, are, you know, that's a silly, seems like a silly question to ask, but are you a contribution to your life? Are you honoring you? Right? Are you accepting you? Are you being an allowance of you? And you meaning you and your body. Whew, this conversation is going in different places <laughs> all of a sudden, right? But ask that, are you being a contribution to yourself? Are you being a contribution to your business? Are you being a contribution to your relationships? Are you a contribution to the world? That sounds pretty heavy, right? So everything that is, will you just let that go now? Yes, yes, yes. Good, so anywhere and everywhere in all lifetime spaces, dimensions and realities where you judged yourself for not being enough, right? Are you willing to let that go now? Are you willing to get the truth of that and clear that now? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Take a deep breath. Hold and release when you're ready. And so now are you willing to be a contribution to your life and living? Are you committed to your life and living? Whatever doesn't allow that, are you willing to let that go now? Yes, yes, yes. Good. Take a deep breath in. 
So we started off by looking at other people, but now we've gone down to you. Are you a contribution to you? Are you a contribution to your life? Are you, and it's not even about you being a contribution, but are you committed to your life? Are you committed to you? Of honoring you, loving you, accepting you, being an allowance of you, being grateful for you, you and your body. Whatever doesn't allow that, we let that go. Yes, yes, yes. Good. So I think that's enough for today. So um, <laughs> thank you, everyone. I didn't know where I was going to go with this, but there it is, right? So where can you be a contribution to yourself? You're living your life. And when you're looking at other people and wondering if they you know, wanting to work with them or be in a relationship with them, you know, they or things or spaces ask, are they a contribution to your life and living? Can they create more with you and for you, for your life? All right. So until next time, continue to live your life filled with joy, peace, love, abundance, and happiness. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>